you know the cleaning industry is a great industry. However, like any other industry, there's always going to be ripoffs. So what I'm going to do today is help you avoid the top 10 ripoffs in the cleaning industry. I'm going to start it from the smallest to the largest ripoff. However, I first want to let you know what my qualifications are. So let's take a look at that. Pop this over here and you're going to notice my qualifications. Basically, I've been cleaning carpets and I've owned a multi-truck operation for over 38 years. So I know the carpet cleaning industry and the water damage industry inside and out. Also, I've got a local and online store. Many people are familiar. You can come here locally. You can buy different types of products. And we have a large online store, tmfshop.net. We also have the largest forum, truckmountforums.com. Basically has a, what, over 2 million views and posts. You're welcome to go look at that, and it's a free resource. Then we've got almost 15,000 people in our Facebook group, and we also had the first digital magazine. On top of it, we had the first and only carpet cleaning app, the first online diverse service school, which you can come here, or you can go online at tmfacademy.com. We also have the best-selling DVD ride-along. So I basically have my finger on the pulse of the industry. I can help you not get duped. So let's go ahead and review those top 10 right now, and I think number one is really going to surprise you. Number 10. Okay, number 10 is chemistry, and chemistry is extremely important because it's the foundation of our industry. We need products that are safe, effective, and consistent. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. Many times, manufacturers or formulators will actually tweak or tweak down a product instead of tweaking upwards and making the product better. That way, they save money, unfortunately, on active ingredients. Number two, they'll take shortcuts. Instead of using safer, better products, they'll use toxic products that are dangerous for you, your clients, and your pets. They can also lead to lawsuits. Number three is consistency. They're not always consistent. Many times they'll reduce the amount of active ingredients in one run versus another run and add more fillers. Or they'll buy products that are on sale. That's not good. That hurts you, that hurts your results, and it basically hurts your bottom line. So remember, whenever you're buying products, think of TMF chemicals because we're safer, we're stronger, and they're better solutions. Number nine. Number nine is YouTube. And what is YouTube? It's basically a video Wikipedia. So anyone can upload any information. And unfortunately, like any other industry, there's going to be hacks. So there's a lot of hacks who are actually putting up information that's incorrect, maybe about chemistry or processes or equipment, or on top of it, maybe a marketing. So if they don't know how to run a business properly, how are they going to show you how to run one? So make sure you get somebody with the proper credentials to follow and somebody you want to emulate. But also be very wary of some people will actually mislead people into using wrong products or wrong tools and stuff of that nature. And what do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to give you a good example or an experience that I came across. And there was actually one time somebody was actually making a YouTube video. And what they did is they took a heavy duty pre-spray, not theirs. They sprayed it down on the carpet. Then they got a 175 and they agitated it very strongly. Then they cut the camera on. Then they sprayed down their own pre-spray and they started running this tool back and forth. Say, oh, look how good it cleans. But we all know that is dishonest. That's a ripoff. Number eight. Okay, number eight is classes. Now, don't get me wrong. I believe in education. You probably heard me say many times that the more you learn, the more you earn. However, you want to make sure you learn from the right people and the right classes. A lot of classes are outdated and a lot of the money is spent incorrectly. There's millions of dollars that flood into classes every year through the cleaning industry. However, much of it is used incorrectly or it's not updated and it doesn't help us as cleaners. I'm not alerting the public to be able to find the right cleaners. And that's what we try to do with TMF Academy. Okay, so number one is bias. What do I mean by bias? Well, a lot of these classes are designed to push or promote their equipment their chemistry and just a small amount. So you want to basically widen out, make sure that the products and the chemistry, the tools and machines fit you and your business model. Also, you've got hidden cost. What do I mean by that? Well, they might tell you the class is a certain cost, but then when they get there, you have to have these tools and you have to have a, a, an app or they're gonna hit you up with a, year, a yearly fee. Now, how good is that to stay certified? You really shouldn't have to. If you learn how to clean carpets, you shouldn't have to pay every year to relearn when you're not doing anything but just sending for a piece of paper. I'm not for that at all, okay? The last thing is get rich. Now, I'm gonna tell you what, if somebody comes to you and they start showing you pictures or videos and, or uh, checks and all this money and stuff that they're making and they're saying get rich, more than likely it's a scheme. So be very wary of that. It's probably going to be a ripoff, okay? When you wanna make sure you get referrals, 
you get testimonials and you want to make sure that the referrals and the testimonials are not paid for, that they're legit. They should show you numbers. They should be able to show you a true ROI, a return on investment that you're making. And that's one thing you can always find with TMFacademy.com. We have a long list of diverse services and we teach you thoroughly inside and out and we back it up 100%. Number seven. Number seven is phone scams. And remember, a lot of times, or most times, it comes from the phone, but sometimes it'll bleed over to text messages or emails. So take a look at here. Who hasn't had a call from somebody like Susan that says, oh, I'm here with Google to update your account? That's not gonna be the, the truth. Basically, the only person getting updated is their wallets. So watch out for them, it's a scam. Number two is the rug cleaning. This is a big one in our industry right now. People are getting emails, they're getting phone calls, and they're getting text messages promising, oh, I'm gonna give you five or $10,000 worth of rug cleaning, just send me some money. If they wanna send you some money ahead of time, or they want you to go to a certain location, don't do it. Be very careful, make sure you get some referrals, make sure you get some testimonials. More than likely, the true rug cleaning is gonna be coming from your clients, not from somebody out of town who says they're moving here and they want you to do something for them. Be very wary or you could get ripped off. Number six. Number six is fest and events. And again, like education, there's nothing wrong with them as long as you're very wary and be careful of ripoffs that take place there. What do I mean by that? Well, sometimes they'll have raffles. There's nothing wrong with a raffle if it's done correctly. However, I have saw or heard where take, they have taken certain numbers of winning products or giving away some equipment or something like that and give it to their friends. Make sure it's more random and that it's fair. Number two, a lot of times there'll be hidden costs. And how does that happen? Well, you might get there and all of a sudden they tell you it's a certain price, but then they have an add-on for this, for that, and for that. And you end up paying two or three times the amount for it, especially sometimes when it's for a charity. So just be really careful of that. All right, and uh, the last point there is testing. You know, I went to a fest or an event one time and I noticed that uh, they ran one process against the other process. And the one process won, but they were upset about it. So, so they said, well, let's see how it looks in the next day. Well, they came back in the middle of the night, like two o'clock in the morning, went down and recleaned it and got it to look almost the same. So keep your eyes open. That way you don't get ripped off and you can actually enjoy fest, events, and trade shows. Number five. Number five is social media. And isn't social media huge today? I mean, we have the largest online forum, a largest Facebook group, and there's lots of other forums and groups. You just have to be wary and read between the lines. And what do I mean by that? Well, a lot of times there'll be GoFundMe accounts set up. Make sure it's legit, okay? Make sure it's not somebody who is just actually trying to take advantage of somebody and it's a ripoff, okay? So be very wary and make sure you get some referrals and it's somebody that's actually in the industry that has a true and legit problem if you're going to um, donate to it at all. Number two is agendas. A lot of times there'll be a certain agenda that they have that they want to push or a certain narrative where they'll put down other forums and other groups because of the fact they want to promote their products or their suppliers or their advertisers. So be very careful of that. Also, last but not least, be careful of purchases. We have a buy, sell, and trade group for TMF, but make sure you never send money to anybody that's not verified. Maybe pay by credit card. Be very careful. If they're a business, they should be able to accept credit card so that way you can verify your purchase and you can guarantee your purchase because I know of many people who have complained to me that they bought different things from anywhere on the internet and they did not get their products. So watch out for ripoffs in social media. Number four. Number four is buying equipment. And it's very easy to be duped or ripped off buying equipment. I've seen many examples where cleaners or new cleaners, especially who went out and got a large loan or used their life savings. Let's just say hypothetically speaking, $100,000. They go in and they get sold 70 or $80,000 truck mounted full system. Then they have hardly any money to spend on marketing or advertising to get the phone to ring. I'm gonna tell you what, the phone just doesn't ring automatically and magically. You have to put some money towards that. So maybe a better idea is to buy something used, maybe half the price with low miles, so you can use half that money to go ahead and get the phone ringing. Uh, the other one is improper equipment. A lot of times they're going to sell you what they make the money on rather than a machine or equipment or tools or chemistry that fits your cleaning style, your business model, or your budget the best. So be very careful and be very wary of that and get an expanded view. Do your research, do your homework. Also be careful of online purchases. I know of truck mount manufacturers who many times might take and say, well, you're gonna get it within 15, 30 days. It might be six months later and they got all their money tied up or worse yet, many times I've actually had people write me emails or call me and say, Rob, they never delivered the equipment at all and they went out of business. So make sure that you get referrals, 
testimonials, and then it's a very legit company. Number three. Okay, now we're getting down to the big three. And number three is mentors, gurus, and coaches. And you know, there's nothing wrong with probably any of those. However, most of them, or a good majority of them, will actually take your money and take advantage of you. So you need to make sure you don't get ripped off, and that's what we're gonna help you with right now. Number one, watch out for the ones that say, oh, we're on fire, or you're on fire, and this is gonna happen, and you're gonna get rich. Let me tell you what, any business takes time, it takes energy, and it takes a lot of patience to really build up something layer by layer to be very successful. So watch out for the ones who promise get riches because you know what? They're probably the ones getting rich. Don't you see them traveling the world, sitting on exotic beaches? And what happened? Okay, that leads me to the next point, failures. I don't really like taking information from people who are failures. And what do I mean by that? Because many times they build a business, maybe to a million dollars or more, but then they couldn't sustain it. So they got out of it, they sold it, and all of a sudden now they're a guru. But really a true guru or a mentor or a coach should be able to have a good business that's ongoing and they're making a lot of money from it. That's what they're promising you anyway, is a lot of money. So if they're promising you a lot of money, why would they give that up for mentorship when they could do both? All right, the last point is, which kind of sums it all up, is make sure they're qualified. Do your homework, do your research, get your testimonials, get the referrals, make sure they have the qualifications. They've been cleaning for a long time. Again, make sure they have a good, successful track record or a business that's ongoing. That way you won't get ripped off by the mentors, the gurus, and the coaches, and you'll pick the right one. Number two. We're getting close to number one, but first we're going to look at number two, which is a big in itself, SEO and web development. I mean, there's all types of people out there promising you to go ahead and deliver you this wonderful website, the search engine optimization, get you to the very top of everything and get your phones ringing. Unfortunately, most of them do not. And why is that? Because a lot of them really don't know what they're doing, okay? They're basically outsourcing out to another country and they don't really speak the language properly or they don't understand the certain dynamics. So make sure that you get something or somebody with referrals or testimonials again and they have a great track record all right, and make sure the prices are reasonable. And lastly, make sure you read the contract because a lot of times there's a lot of loopholes in there which abstains them from responsibility of living up to what they're supposed to be doing. So there's nothing wrong with it. As a matter of fact, we offer it through Cleaner Designs. We are full at the moment. However, check back with us. Maybe we can go ahead and service you. If not, maybe we can refer you to somebody else. So be very careful when it comes to SEO and web development. Number one. Number one is the Mac Daddy of all the ripoffs. And what do I mean by that? National contract companies. And you're probably thinking I'm talking about franchises. True, you have to watch out for franchises, but they're actually regulated by the government and they have certain controls and laws they have to follow. So for the most part, you can't hardly go wrong with a franchise, but still read the contracts carefully because if you're not careful, you might end up spending too much money on it and you're not getting all the services that you deserve. So definitely watch out for that. But what I want to talk about is national contract companies. These are the companies that call you and say, oh, we got these movie theaters. We got these monster uh, jobs for you. We got these apartment buildings for you to clean and stuff like that. And many times they want you to send them money up front. But let me tell you what, it is a scam 99% of the time. Because you know who's getting rich? They are. And they're taking a large percentage of the money and they're figuring it out. And what they're doing is they're offering these uh, incredible, so-called incredible deals to these national companies. And the national companies are snapping you up. So, okay, if you can do all that, that's great. Okay, unfortunately, we all know quality work can't be delivered for those prices. So they'll call up cleaners off of Craigslist or different uh, internet uh, locations. They'll find you. What they'll do is they'll ask for money up front or they'll send you on a long trip. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of times they have loopholes in their contracts. So they'll either put off paying you or never paying you. And it even says in the contracts, if you complain about it or write them a bad review, they'll, that cancels the contract and they don't have to pay you. How do I know this? I've had cleaners get in touch with me who are owed thousands upon thousands and thousands of dollars when they wrote a bad review or complained, they didn't read the contract properly, they ended up forfeiting all their money that they spent on long drives, spending a lot of time away from their business, and they got ripped off. So watch out. Number one is the national contract companies. I'm not saying they're not all legit, but the majority of them are not. So please read the contracts, watch for the loopholes, and don't make that mistake of getting ripped off. Okay, well, I hope you found this video enjoyable. Remember, we have a, a very rich resource. You can look us up on our Truck Mount Forums YouTube page. Please subscribe. Every time a new video comes up, 
you'll get an alert and maybe those will help you grow your business in the future and it's free. Also, speaking of free, don't forget to look up Cleaning Professionals on our Facebook page. We got quick, easy information. We can answer your questions very quickly and I spent a lot of time there and be glad to help you in any form or fashion. Also, when it comes to learning, don't forget about tmfacademy.com. Many times you can buy some equipment and a free class comes with it. So kind of keep those in mind. There's a lot of specials and it'll help you grow your brand and help you be more profitable. Lastly, don't forget about tmfshop.net where you can find our chemistry. You're going to find it safer, stronger, and better solutions than anything that's out there. You're also going to find all different types of equipment and we're not going to say anything you don't need and we stand behind it 100%. As a matter of fact, we're a father and son team who started this uh, over a decade ago. So we really truly appreciate all your business and I hope it helps you in the future. I'm Rob Allen with Truck Malforums. Have yourself a great day.